welcome back to TNT Gaming. I'm your friend Natasha. I'm T. What's up, y'all? So, a little bit of a disclaimer before we get started. If you decide to put any spoilers in the comment section, you will be blocked. So, please do not. Yeah, we, we enjoy you guys not, here. We don't want to block anybody. Do not put spoilers in the comment section. We are trying to enjoy this as well as some new people who would like to enjoy this along with us. So yes, that's just a quick disclaimer, but uh, what we got today. All right, so we are continuing our story with Red Dead Redemption 2. In the previous episode, uh, Arthur and Dutch apparently are deputies in oh, Dewberry. Oh my God, yes. yes. They're deputies <laughs> and they're stealing all the moonshine. <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, jump into it. Guys, leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. Let's go. Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? <sighs> Miss O'Shea. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I. I really love him, you know. Oh. But if he, like he always says, loyalty is everything, so. Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? Ah. Uh, I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip off, so now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, Dang. bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well away. as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Mm. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. <laughs> you just said. Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. Oh, I got a serious medical condition. Of course you Yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. <laughs> you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. Mm -hmm. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> Well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm oh, happy. You are damn. a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. Now that's the cook, right? No, I think that's yes, Uncle. Boy. Smart ass. Yeah, that's not the cook. That's Yo -ho. How you get wind of this old man? We only been down here. Hey, you only minutes. see Miss O'Shea for like a brief second. Wow, you boys and just fishing or ran off. Oh man, or whatever the hell you've been doing. I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is you scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the roads. <laughs> okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. The crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Cross sakes. Hot. Right. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There. You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> oh, damn. Got a gun pointed at him. Now, don't try anything stupid, and we won't do anything unkind. You know, boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, oh. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, oh. great! Whoa. So you know, <laughs> he doesn't. I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Oh, man. 
Why he say his name? It don't matter. Leviticus Corn will already know who's robbing him. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Must Cold be near to Dang. Mm. Shit. Hey! Uh oh. Think I say something? Oh, uh, great. Oh, crap. Let's go. Arthur, let's go. Yeah. Oh. Oh, crap. no. Man, now they gotta go. Go. We got a lot of company back there. Light us up, boys! Get rid of these sons of bitches! You ain't getting away with this! No! I'm not no. going, oh no! Most darn <laughs> wagon! Shot! Damn history! How am I to know? Professor, you said on. you knew! He's talking about friend. how was I supposed to know? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, What's God. Get down. Ride, <laughs> Come on. Quick. Get off the trail. Into the woods. Let's shake him and get back to camp. No, we need to find a place to lie low. Yeah, I'll bring him back to the camp. Man, camp. Right. right. Yeah, this is all. Whoa. Let's, let's, let's hide in here. Quick. Oh, no. Uh oh. Whoa, whoa. Good. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go on. I'll see you later. All right. Let's get out of sight. We'll stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we, uh, get some rest. Damn. Yeah. All right. Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. <laughs> well, shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. Mm -hmm. oh, I hate it. No. Let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kind of. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? Uh, uh, I... Why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Clay, Clay, tell me what you heard. I don't... I don't maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while Ooh. ago. Ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Oh. Sir. They're gonna have to kill him. Those don't look like bandits. Well, the place looks deserted or enough. Lawmen. Sure. You head inside. I'll go around the back. Kill him. Place looks empty to me. Oh, he not gonna The old look. guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Shit! Oh, oh, oh. What the ah. fuck? Oh. What the fuck? Get the hell, boys! Oh. Oh, make it out alive! Damn close! They were about to leave! Watch it, Charles! We got more of the bastards on this side! Ah. Damn! Nobody was supposed to die. Looks like Mr. Cornwall's gone up to security. Ain't you glad now I insisted you come along? Oh, this is it. I'm officially retired. They're coming in from the front. Shit. Fire. You're gonna die here. We got more on this side. Don't worry, fellas. Uh, we ain't going out like this. No goddamn way. 
way. Why? You got another surefire plan for us, Uncle? Stop! We don't get out of here soon. We're charcoal. Do what you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got coal on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, state. leave it, Quan. Get out of here. Every man split up, Quan. Run quick. Good luck, Jens. Stay quiet and move. Mm, mm. Damn. Mm, Off. Mm, mm. Yes, kid. Damn. You got a lot on? Lenny. He's alive. Yeah, right. <laughs> now the last time we seen Lenny was when Arthur and him went to the, the bar. bar. It took they go drinking. Was drunk yeah, they was me they was out. messed up. And then all of a sudden, we saw Lenny got apprehended, and Arthur ran away. He got and then apprehended? He yeah, he got apprehended because the public and then, drunkenness. And then we didn't know what happened to him, yeah. and so we were trying to piece things together to find out what's what going on if he got arrested or or Honk. what. Yeah, and so <laughs> now we're finally seeing him again. Just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Jose seem to think is. Out there, just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? He got his badge on. I got something. Could be oh, good. He's got his, yeah. Oh, he's yeah, got his. I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here, who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah. Mm. Apparently, it's still raging in these fools' minds thirty years later. Okay. <laughs> that ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers, and in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. Time to go. Well, you can trust Lenny. Mm. But Uncle, he was already hesitant about it. Right. And he did it anyway. Yeah. yeah. You know, so, I might admit that. It's like two people were coming to find her, like, serious trouble, which is Uncle and Micah. He's yeah. crazy as before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but <laughs> no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. <laughs> she was ready. She's terrifying. Yeah. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lamar. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. <laughs> but most of it is a, a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Mm. No. Out west is out west. Is out west. And you're all who you are. Right. Decent folks. Damn. But some places down here, they judge different. Well, I guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold's still shiny. And their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these <laughs> bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> 
Plus, Ugh. it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. Yeah. I guess Damn. it does. Can you pause it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I like how they're being honest mm -hmm. in this because during the time, even though it's 30 years after the Civil War, mm. um, there's still people out there who might not like someone like Lenny. Yeah. And instead of, like, not addressing it at all, right. they've done a few things to address it. Right. And I, and I, I think that's all about making this game uh, as authentic as possible. And so far, they've been doing a really good yeah. job with the authenticity. Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're going to want to strategize a little before getting shot at. Mm. Of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? Mm. See that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Yeah. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. No, that's right. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Hear oh, yeah. that? Uh -oh. you hear somebody. Someone's on the track. Come on. We can get a view on them from that wall up there. Bring your sighted rifle, okay? I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. Just a moment. When you've had a look, tell me what uh -oh. to do. Damn. Looks like dynamite. I know dynamite crates when I see them. We got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Mm. Oh, friendly. oh. <laughs> With these folks? Right. You just draw them into one spot, then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for performance. Oh, God. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you should be Oh, my God. Girls. Fine by me. This is not going to be good. As soon as you shoot, I'll go. Oh, God. Oh, I thought he was going down there. I did too. Go on. Oh. Up there on the bridge. Oh. Oh. Damn. He's getting fucked up. Quarter shooting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Let's go. Let's go. Get this back. That's right. Let's get yep. this crate. Where's the money? Oh, they got it. Uh, time to head back Idiot. to camp. Yeah. Uh, this one was actually hey, pretty successful. Yeah, it looks like a bigger payout uh -oh. than your uncle. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. What's a black feller doing coming out of Shady Bell? Oh. In one of our wagons. Uh-oh. Oh. Is we was uh, doing some business with your brothers back there. You don't look like any kind of folk we deal with. <laughs> you look just the opposite. Oh man, yep. he was like, you look just like the opposite. I'm looking, all right? <laughs> we ain't doing business with you. 
I should think we're out of the woods then, so to I speak. Too. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> wow. You did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. Yeah. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragger. Don't mm. worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like him, you know? Yeah, well, so do I. I don't That's know, better Sean. Than Just, yeah, you remember Sean? Sean the one that can't shoot with the Irish accent. Oh, uh-uh. Yeah. He, I know he not comparing himself to Sean. Right. You. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackwater. But, no, but nothing. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts, we know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Gave him a little pep talk. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, Lenny. <laughs> Hey, the camp's in these trees up here. Let's get there. Hey. Arthur, Lenny, coming back. Arthur? These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. It's like everybody he's hanging out with is dangerous. Mm -hmm. Ride with Love Uncle or Lenny. Yes, yes, always something. Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? Oh, you want rescuing that? again, dude? That's Michael. <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. A oh, plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? <laughs> Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen. <laughs> Trying to protect his riding clothes. Well, I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow. Lose your oh. head. Yellow. Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? Do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't mm. I? After you. <laughs> Man, there's a lot of robbing going on. He just did too. I know right, where well, they need that money though. Them coming in. Jeez, I'd be tired. <laughs> you can't be when you a bandit. That's your life. That's like going to work. What are you oh, doing yeah. anyway? Camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? Like I told you, I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. Mm. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men? Guns. Yeah, right. right. Nothing serious. You'll be fine. Oh. I heard Worse the banks been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner the better. You worry <laughs> too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Triscoll told you. When you was half drunk in a jail cell. <laughs> he kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Triscolls are everywhere now. The bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here, anyway? Oh, you know how it is? A few loose ends, drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always uh, pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. 
Mm. Making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Damn. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I've seen you come full undone more than once now, and you've only been running with us a few months. Damn. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing it. Then let's do it. Yep. And you can tell Arthur has some serious right. concerns. This is the spot. Yeah. Hold but up he's still going ridge. along with them. <laughs> That's his gut. I his first mind. I wouldn't have went with him. Nah. He should be here. He trouble. In yeah. a little bit. And he's like a tied. A Which wild. Which way be coming in? Like a wild card. Be from over yeah. there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. <sighs> they should be here <laughs> any minute. Hmm, don't call me tough guy. I saved you. Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> right! We need to put on a, a bandana or something. Oh, ah! I guess they're killing people. Fargo stays coach. <laughs> no need to keep your face covered now. It's just you and me, sweetheart. I'll give it to them. They put up half a fight at least. Yeah! Stay luck! Come on, boy! Be here. Find a new ride for two. Here you go, Arthur. From me to you, that's more your style than mine. And another right there. What did I tell you? Like licking butter off a knife. Something like that. You don't want to just break it open here, be done with it? Could be more than we can carry. And there might be a second crew of riders, oh. tail. All right, then. Not to mention, we ride back in with a big take and a new wagon to boot. Judge, you can't say we ain't pulling our weight no more, can he? Mm. I ain't sure I trust this new act of yours one bit. And something's Listen, up. Something's gonna happen. I know we got off on the wrong foot, but I got no beef with you. I reckon we're a lot alike, you and me. Now, hold up there. Dutch knows I'm a feller that gets things done. Same as you. Gets things done? You'd be wearing a California collar now if I hadn't broken you out of jail. Right. And I have expressed my gratitude, have I not? It's done. Main thing now is getting this hall back in one piece. Shit! Oh! Oh! oh. I knew it! Oh! Damn! These dudes have laid a whole tree in the road. What the hell? Uh -oh. Come on, Arthur, get out of there! You dumb bastards! You okay? They should have uh, took some stuff out and left like this. Yeah, yeah. Because you're a target. You carrying around a big giant carriage full of money. Like nobody's gonna see you. Oh, they're Driscoll. Oh, they're Driscoll's. Yeah, because they was going to rob it anyway. Yeah. They're running away. <laughs> oh, get them. That's right. That'll show them. Why I mean, is it? Yeah, not Every what? job yeah. I do with you knocked over ends now. in a pile of dead bodies. Since when did you have a problem killing O'Driscolls? Huh, huh. You've got a point. The Let's wheels are gone, coach, too. Then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. Yeah. You know, we should really pick up a lock breaker one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. 
Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours. Let's take what we can and get oh, the hell out of here. Loaded in that, that lock wagon. should shoot off easy enough. Yeah. I'll give you the honors on account of, well, this little mess. Go on then. That should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth. All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls. And a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Better hope so. Look at there. that. Oh, Alright, he's oh. got money. What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its peace. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, <laughs> that still don't mean nothing. Get out of here. Let's see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun. <laughs> of <course>. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so we're gonna wrap it right here Jeez. but wow this is like one adventure after the other yeah it's like every sing single interaction arthur had ended up with a shootout with a pile of dead bodies laid behind this is ridiculous yeah but i thought this was a great episode that kept me on the edge of my seat the yeah. entire time what was gonna happen yeah i didn't know what was gonna happen i but i knew people were gonna die Oh. That I mean, because that is the story now. As much as Arthur has good intentions, right. kind of, right. uh, well, more so than a lot of people, um, Cornwall is on to them, and then the uncle, the uncle character, he doesn't seem like he's pro enough. He didn't have enough details and enough information to do that job. Right. Well, that's why Arthur was skeptical about the right. job in the first but place. But they did it anyway. But they did it anyway, but their intentions was not to harm anybody. But still, people got harmed. Yeah. And so, although their intentions are good, this makes them the bad guys. Yeah. Because you still killing people. Mm hmm Right. But then again, there was the issue with, like, what Lenny was saying. You know, they went after guys who weren't so good. And so, <laughs> you know, they were actually taking care of the bad guys. So does that make them bad for taking out the bad guys? You still kill people. <laughs> so, yeah, and you still, you still robbing and killing. Yeah, so, yes, right, right. Mm, that, just mm. because you, yeah, I, I'm sorry. No. Right. The lines of morality are blue. Yeah, but I guess that's how Dutch feels. Like, as right. long as we killing the bad guys, mm. you know, it makes it okay. Right. But... I think sometimes good guys get hurt too because when yeah. they hid in the barn, they right. put that homeowner in danger. Uh, in danger. Right. Yeah. And he he he, he didn't do anything. He didn't do anything. Right. Yeah. yeah. You know. Wow. So wow. Uh, very interesting. Mm. Uh, Micah is insane. And, right. Uh, as <laughs> usual. As usual. It's like it, everything that we thought was going to happen happened with yeah. Micah's situation, including them robbing the stagecoach and then getting ro almost robbed themselves by yeah. the Adriscals. Yeah. yeah. So. so guys, we're going to continue our journey with Red Dead Redemption. Leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. As always, like, share, and subscribe. And of course, become a member or a patron. That way you can have early access to all of our videos. Okay. Anyway, we'll see y'all next time. Take care. Peace.